Hi there! This episode of Para Breakdown is brought to you by TV Guide. This week, Lucy gets more than she bargained for when she visits Crystal Lake. This hilarious episode and more in this week's TV Guide. Now available at Rexall Drugs. There is a gentleman in South New Jersey who seems to have a conundrum of sorts. He writes, things continue to disappear at the Bigfoot shelter area. What's going on? Another day and another adventure to find Bigfoot in South Jersey's wildlife area. Stealth camera is on 24-7 taking pictures when something comes into the area of offering. I set up food and the food disappears without any photos showing who or what took it. This one will show a deer disappear in the same area as did the food over the past weeks. Watch and you decide what you think happened. I really don't know much about, you know, the food situation because he doesn't really show it. But, and I'm not trying to, uh, to poke fun or draw unwanted attention to this gentleman since he's just trying to do some honest research. Uh, so I just blacked out the name. The first thing is where he set up his trail cam and the so-called structure in the foreground. I had put, I had put uh, food offerings all in these areas up here high as to where the curse is showing you now. Uh, again, this is uh, over seven foot tall. It doesn't look that big, but it is. Uh, plenty of room inside here too. His report of the structure being seven feet tall is far from accurate. In the next scene, we see a rather average-looking white-tailed deer near this structure. White-tailed deer is native to most of North America, as well as New Jersey. And an adult buck is about three foot tall at the shoulder. A doe, such as what we see here, is smaller than that. I'm not going to insult anybody with drawing measurement lines and such because it's quite obvious that the structure is no taller than about, I don't know, five feet. On to what he wanted to point out. Okay. Watch it now. Okay, it's going towards the shelter. Okay, it's almost there now. Okay, so now it's in front of the shelter. That's the hind quarters right here. There's a shadow over here. Okay. It's in the front of the shelter. It's still there. You can see it here and there. A shadow of it. But I believe there's something else happening too. Um, and now you really don't see it anymore. The deer is gone. And that's 8.02 in the morning on 4.20. Things are disappearing. We see the doe wander into the area slowly nosing around. It eventually goes behind the structure. And the next thing we know, it's gone. Let's go back on and see it again. Okay. There's a deer coming into, the deer's coming into the shelter area now. Okay. Goes. See the, you see the shadow of it. Okay. Gone. As anyone who has used trail cams in the past can tell you, this is a matter of trigger speed or capture speeds on the camera. And on stealth cams, you can actually set the delay. And I know for a fact that this stealth cam that he's using has an average to below average trigger speed. We know because these captures that show a doe and then the very next image shows basically nothing, but far later in the day. That second shot was triggered by something, but by the time the camera got around to waking up and doing something, whatever it was, was gone. No mystery here at all, really. I, I do hope he continues his search and maybe invest in a better camera. Thanks for watching.